Alrighty, gang. We are back with another episode of Tales of Vesperia. We just got done doing Secret Mission 11. Uh, we just mopped the floor with a couple of these guys. And at the current time, we have a couple of side quests that uh, we can partake in. Now that we are in Yormgen, we can actually backtrack to uh, Mantiac and do some stuff. But I mean, we obviously are going to have to progress the story first before we do anything. And before actually going any further, what we want to do is check out the items right here because there's some good stuff. Hourglass and an all divide. And both of those items are going to definitely be necessary for us to trade in for a future quest line. And we're just going to. We're, we don't have any need to really use these. You know, you usually normally want to save these for like near the end of the game because near the end of the game, like most Tales games get like ridiculously. I ain't. Go, yeah, I guess you could say cheap because bosses just start dishing out like one hitter quitters. Bosses just start doing crazy damage, stun locking you. You obviously want to save like all the vies and hourglasses for like the final bosses so you can just stomp them. But anyway, we got an hourglass. We need to keep that. Um, for the time being, I think I'm going to have Judith go into her cosmos. Yeah, she looks pretty cool in that. I like it. So we already went shopping before. We don't need to do any more shopping. Suggested synthesis. Large size bag, limit trio. We already got all that. Not a normal monster. Let's watch this skit. What was the deal with that weird monster we ran into in the sands of Kogor? Just the thought of it still sends chills down my spine. Was that thing even alive? Huh? What do you mean? Well, it wasn't anything like other creatures that make their home in the desert. Huh. Another astute observation from Captain Carroll. Whatever it was, I hope we never see it again. Me too. Alright. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna see it again. You know it. Uh, that box, I feel as though I've seen it somewhere. Hmm. I can't seem to recall where it was, though. Oh, welcome, travelers from so far away. I'm afraid our village doesn't have anything particularly special to offer. They're the ones we found unconscious, yes? Please, make yourself at home here. Coliseum, scene of countless bloody battles. It's so thrilling. I want to die in that stone circle someday. That's my dream. Wild, isn't it? It's a shame the Coliseum is so far from here. The leisurely pace of Yormigan just doesn't see, suit me. I swear that one day I'll stand in the Coliseum and make crimson flowers bloom upon its stones. Damn. Maybe we'll actually see her in like the 30-man melee or the 100-man melee or perhaps the 200-man melee. Haha. -ha. That wasn't a part of the original game to my knowledge. All right. You're a stranger. I can't talk to strangers. Well, yeah. That's a good thing. Your parents have been teaching you well. So after all we went through to cross the candy, desert, though? we can't meet huh. Pharaoh. Oh, do and after I? you've all risked your lives to help me. <laughs> Maybe it's better that we didn't find him after all. Yeah. If we had to fight him now, we probably wouldn't make it out. Think about it, though. Pharaoh can fly. He's free to be pretty much anywhere at any time. Tracking him down will be a tall order unless he's got a lair somewhere in the area. Ugh. No one's saying that meeting him will be impossible. We might get some information if we ask around in the town. You're right. Thank you. Both of you. Alright, time to get some leads. Meow? Meow, 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 meow. Oh man, this was looking mighty suspicious. No items in that, in those pots. The door is tightly shut. It cannot be opened. You cannot force your way through. This is not like every other RPG where you can open everybody's house. What do you think you are, Mr. Mr. Thank you so much for saving us. I want to hurry back to Mantiac to see my kids. The kids must be worried. If only they didn't come looking for us. What? If only they didn't come looking for us. Oof. That box. Do you know something about this box? Longchi had it. Longchi. Where did you get it? Who the hell is Longchi? Is that Wendy Lee? On a ship called the Atherum, my lovely lady. 
Have you heard of it? Oh, man. Of course. You know about the Atherum, too? Uh, yes. We happen to come across it on the ocean. Did you see Launchy? And Launchy would be... Oh, Launchy is my love. I'm sorry to suddenly get so personal. <laughs> Launchy. Damn. Your boy Launchy's probably dead. <laughs> he was the skeleton. Your love. Damn it. Hey, Carol. Your turn. Goddamn. You're hopeless. Um, all that we saw was, uh, the ship itself. Oh, I see. Could I ask your name? Oh, my name is Uifon. That's the name that was in the diary we found on the Atherum. Perhaps she's a descendant with the same name? Do you know about the Clear Seal Crystal? They say it has the power to drive back monsters. The Sage said it was necessary to make a barrier around the town. I is that what's in the box? She looks yes. like she's tearing we up. We came to deliver this box to you. If you look at the bottom of her, like, eyelid, it looks like there's, like, some transparent fluid. Like she's crying. I, I see. Oh, hey, she has the key. Is that the key? Could I have the box? Yoink. Wow. Is this the clear seal crystal? Wow, that thing looks like a chaos emerald. Looks like it. You fools. Somebody it's comes so to snatch sparkly it. Sparkly and glittery. <laughs> a treasure even more beautiful than sea sparkles blooming on the surface of the ocean. So who's that sage you were talking about earlier? The sage is a great Critian who came to our town from across the desert. A Critian? Well, creating a barrier is basically creating a Blastia. Blastia? But we can make Blastia with current technology, right? There are people who do. You saw the Blastia at Emmied Hill in Ker Bakram. But I don't think that Sage guy is the one who made those Blastia with messed up formulas. I... Uh, I'm sorry. I don't really understand. Yep, tell me about it. I love how everybody just assumes like, hey man, we're super smart and uh, we're gonna tell you about all this plot information. But the sage said that the clear CL crystal was needed to create the barrier. So Long Chi set out to look for it. It's been three years since he left. You know, one, one unreal thing to me is like, in a lot of RPGs lately, er almost all the party members are like highly intellectual. <laughs> and that's one thing that's it bugs me because it's like how likely is that actually gonna happen like you got these hyper skilled highly intellectual good looking ass people like that's that's a combination that is likely very rare in the real world so when i see that in the video game it's it, it kind of like it picks up my brain like man this is ridiculous man <laughs> Like, for instance, Final Fantasy XV. <laughs> like, that actually bugged me a bit. Like, just a couple, of, like, this has just been a lot of RPGs over the years where it's like unrealistic ass traits all the characters have. I mean, yeah, I know it's a video game, but it's like, it, it's just a lot of characters re in recently, in recent years, are just kind of hard to relate to. Like, my boy Lord Irvin, he was a dumbass. But you know he was a smooth ass dumbass. You know he, he he was he was the smoothest hero, and I like Lloyd Irvin. He wasn't the smartest dude, but he got shit done. You know, I just like characters like that. But you know that's just me. Three years, huh? You must be worried. Wait, <laughs> this sounds weird. <laughs> yeah, the stories don't match up. They're trying to avoid making another Lloyd. I love Lloyd. I love Lloyd with the passion. You think she could have miscounted by a thousand years? Cosmos. It actually says Cosmos on there. How old is she anyway? The same thing could have happened three years ago, or a thousand years ago, probably. They say that history repeats itself, but who really knows? Is that Sage in this town? Where does he live? 
Oh, yes. He lives in the house farthest into the town. I think it might be faster if we went to talk to the sage. Oh, he's not there right now. Yes, maybe so. Um, if you're going there, could you take the clear CL crystal to the sage for me? Yes, of course. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go. Clear CL crystal. Let's bring it to the wise one. All right, let's get this chest though. After we watch this skit. This town's weird. It's in the middle of the desert, but look at all the plants. It sort of reminds me of Mantake. Yeah, but there is something different. Really? There may be more here than meets the eye. Maybe the truth is hidden away. Leave it to Judith to put things into perspective. The better the intuition, the more you see. Hey, I have, I have intuition. intuition. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I love how they got offended. If you have a question, you should ask the sage. Our current mayor is too young and unreliable. Damn. M mayor boy. Oh, man. The boy mayor. All right, let's see. Our village chi uh, chief is a great man, but the sage is even greater. The surge will drive out any monsters that may attack us. I'm trying to see if there's any more chests here. Can I leave? The wise man, wonder where he is. He's probably not outside. Chill, bro. Chill, I was just trying to explore. Chill, chill. All right, I'm just trying to make sure I'm not missing anything. Hug the walls. I have good intuition. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh-huh, mm-hmm. <laughs> sure, fam. I believe you. I believe you. <laughs> Excuse me. Whoa, look who it is. Duke. Huh? Hey, that's... You're... Who exactly? We've run into each other a couple times. You. How have you come to this place? What do you mean, how? We walked. As in, across the desert. I see. And yet, how did you... Hmm? No matter. For what reason have you come? Wait, is Duke the sage at this place? We're a little curious about this. Fabulous standing this right next to Fabulous. This must have cost you dearly to obtain. This is definitely a Fabulous goddamn scene. Actually, it just sort of landed in our lap. Hmm. That was quite a miracle. You're planning on making a barrier blastia, you, aren't you? You're free to go pretending you're a sage, but forget about making any blastia. Who would even consider building a barrier blastia with something that's so obviously not a core? But it is a solid mass of air. It simply lacks an inscribed formula. All right, so if you guys are hearing clink, 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 clinks in the background, that's my radiator. And I live in such an old apartment building. Like, we're still using, like, these old-style radiators, and they make a lot of noise when they're starting up. So I apologize if that's, if, if that's something that's been kind of in the background and you just didn't know what it was and it's been irritating. Well, it's the radiators. Just wanted to let you guys know. Lacks an inscribed formula? What do you mean? They are most commonly known as Apatheia, of which the clear CL crystal is one example. Ah, Apatheia. So this is an Apatheia? That the treasure you've been looking for, old man? Also, I am not the sage. Huh? No such being exists any longer. Mm, that's a problem. Uh, we'll need to get that back from you in that case. Neither I nor humanity have a need for such a thing. Whoa! What are you doing? Hold on a sec! Uh. It's the same phenomenon we saw at Cave Ma. <laughs> he was like, what clear CL? Crystal. What crystal? <laughs> My dude just debold him. Oh, man. <laughs> just when I found <laughs> one. He was like, what crystal? <laughs> the Apathea bring only chaos to humanity. They are better off returned to air. Return to air? 
Is that really all you did just now? That's still no reason to go smashing other people's things. What kind of a person treats treasure so poorly? Wasn't the clear seal crystal, the Apathea, needed to save this town from the monsters? This town has no use for a barrier, and no need to be saved. This place has been granted everlasting calm. Come to mention it, it is pretty quiet here. But still, there are monsters like Pharaoh nearby. How do you know of Pharaoh? I'd ask you the same thing. You seem to know about him yourself. Please, tell us what you know. Pharaoh referred to me as a poison. I see. You know something, don't you? There is a being in this world who possesses a power the Endelikea despise. Ah. You mean... me? Child, that is you, Estelle. This being is known as the Child of the Full Moon. Child of the Full Moon. All right. All righty. Child of the Full Moon. Like in the legend. I, ge I legitimately just had that click in my head. By Entelikea, you mean Pharaoh? That is correct. But what would the Entelikea have against me? Against a child of the full moon? He just said. He just said what he just said. Because you have a power that they despise. What is this power the child of the full moon possesses that they despise? <laughs> That answer lies only within the hearts of the Entelikea themselves. Which means I've got no choice but to find Pharaoh and ask him myself. Do not be foolish. Meeting Pharaoh would end only in the death of the child of the full moon. But... Estelle, give it a rest. Hey, Regay, uh, Jaeger from Ruinsgate talked about the Entelikea earlier, didn't he? Something about them being the ancient race that built Nordopolica. So Pharaoh built Nordopolica? That doesn't seem possible. Take your leave. There's nothing more for you here. Wait. There's something I want to ask you, too. What were you doing at that Air Crene? Just who are you? What is that sword of yours? You need to relax, Rita. Those matters exceed your comprehension. <laughs> Damn! Do not ask of them again. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I have nothing more to say. <laughs> My dude said, you're just, you're too dumb to understand what I just did, Rita. And she's shaking. Dude was like, you better shut your stupid ass up because I ain't got time to explain to you, is what he just said. <laughs> Where do you get off? <laughs> Rita. He said it in the most intellectual way possible. He was like, you better shut your dumb ass up. I'm not about to waste time explaining to you. That's how I read that. <laughs> Cosmos, you're a robot. Why do you feel emotions? Duke may have been the one that saved us in the desert. Hmm, maybe. I'm gonna go and thank him. Hold up. He doesn't seem the type to do something like that. You don't think so? Just a hunch. You said that child of the full moon he mentioned was the sister of Bray Vesperia, right? Yeah. Goddess who bathes this world in her golden light, you are named child of the full moon. Your brother, Bray Vesperia, watches over us from the skies. You remain bound to your mother, the Earth, and will shelter her with your unceasing protection. Is there, like, a hidden meaning in there? All right, I wonder who the brother is. I'm not sure, but maybe it's more than just an old legend. Remaining to protect the Earth, huh? Could protecting the Earth have anything to do with ruling over this world? You mean, like, becoming the Emperor? If Estelle is the child of the full moon, that would add up. Which means all the previous Emperors would have been on Pharaoh's hit list. Hmm. I've never heard of anything like that. Hmm. This all sounds pretty complicated. It is. It's interesting, though. Yeah, I suppose it might be a bit too complicated for you, Patty. It's too complicated for you, too, old man. <laughs> Rita can explain it to you later. Me? <laughs> Me? Shouldn't we be thinking more about what to do next? You smart, right? <laughs> I'm gonna stay here. There are things I've got to investigate. Investigate? Clear seal crystals? 
Epithea? All kinds of things. Honestly, I have a few bones to pick with Mr. Warm and Fuzzy over there. If you're all going back, we'll have to say our goodbyes here. But... Oh, that's too bad. I don't imagine the desert will be much fun on your own, but good luck. Oh, that's right. I can't go anywhere without crossing that desert. <laughs> we can afford to take a load off while she's checking things out, can't we? I'm pretty interested in Apathea myself. If we're going back into the desert, huh. we need to take time to prepare. We don't want to keel over again. That's true. <coughs> How about we leave tomorrow? Rita, one day should be enough, right? Shouldn't be a problem. Thanks. I appreciate it. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, then. We'll meet up near the exit tomorrow morning. Right. See you then. Party with everyone. Everyone's looking pretty fabulous. Let's try to get your boy into something new here. Yeah, he looks like a badass. You know, it's pretty hot out here. My man needs to, you know, take a load off. You know, he was looking pretty hot in that fabulous uniform. Yeah, boy. Burp. Oh, he just burped in my face. How disgusting, kid. Oh, man, you vomited a little bit with that burp. Oh, just go away. You're, you're disgusting, kid. Learn, learn some manners, man. Learn some damn manners. Wham, 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 bam, bam. Thank you, my man. <laughs> Ready or Gormati? <laughs> Welcome back, my dude, ATM. I appreciate this. 16 months in a row. Yes, we can go back in here. I have nothing left to say to you. <clears throat> hmm. He just, look at that. He just stunk with that sword out. You're not going to follow him? What's the point? He's not going to talk to me. So this was a complete waste of time? Well, I wouldn't go that far. Apathea? When the air crane went berserk, Regay, I mean, Jaeger, was carrying this box. Jaeger. This box was what messed up my magic. Oh my goodness, Regay is actually Aaron Jaeger. And that's, oh my god, the Apathea. That's what's in Aaron Jaeger's basement. You think the Apathea is what's causing the air crane to go out of control? I haven't seen Attack on Titan in like years after season one. Like, I've seen season one. So maybe they already like explored dude's basement. <laughs> I have no clue what is what was what's going on in the current seasons of uh, Attack on Titan. Judging from the evidence, it could be a valid hypothesis. So when the Blastia and Heliord was going out of control, you think there was Apathea nearby? And the Air Crene and Cave Mach too? There may have been. Otherwise, maybe the Apathea has been damaging the whole world's Air Crene little by little. And a large distortion just happened to appear then. I see. It's really nothing more than a guess, but it could be right. You don't sound very sure of yourself. In science, you continually make hypotheses, then test them, and you get closer and closer to the truth. That's how it is. Hmm. Well, okay. Maybe I can do something with this after all. What are you going to do now? The next step after a hypothesis is testing it. All right, first of all, let's look around this dude's house. What was Duke even doing here, by the way? My dude was just chilling in the sage's house. Yeah, and look at the strange man. Oh, yeah, a crest that slightly shortens the time a mage is immobile after casting a spell. Um, We have a second one of those. We crafted one, I think, earlier. There's a really old key. It doesn't look like it would open. No, no. Not now. I'll lose my concentration. <laughs> Alright, just gonna check the house for any more items that we maybe can find. Doesn't look like we can find anything. Nope. Alright, let's get out. Alright. Alrighty, guys. My man meets Rugi out here. Straight out of Soul Calibur, you feel? Wandering Samurai. Look at all these damn titles Yuri's has. If we can't initiate that damn quest in Dongress the next time we come back, I'm gonna be mad. Even now, I can see Long Chi smile. 
I wonder when he will come home. So have you spoken to the sage? He is a very nice person, so he may be willing to listen. Hmm. Is this like an illusion town? We weren't able to find Pharaoh after all. Yeah, our first job as a guild was an egregious failure. What do you think? Should we go back to Dongrest? That might be best, but would you be okay with that, Yuri? And what about Estelle? I'd be fine with it. As for Estelle, I'll leave that answer up to her. All right. This sure is a serene little town. Huh? Oh, yeah. It is, yeah, isn't it? I, I literally just said, like, the music was serene. And he said, yeah, this is a serene little town. I'm like, yeah, dude. Totally. No guilds. No empire. It's a little strange. Yeah, but I think it's relaxing. Definitely. Yeah. But even the so, flute, I prefer Don I love that flute. I love that flute in the background. It's so good. That's how everyone is. Everybody prefers the place where they grew up. You too, Yuri? Well, yeah, sure. But if we're gonna work together in Brave Vesperia, we'll have to decide on a single place for our home base. Mm. We could always make someplace new, you know. Someplace new? Yeah, you know, everyone thinks of Dongrest as the Union City, but it's really Altosk City. It could be like that. Brave Vesperia could make its own city. Nice. Brave Vesperia's own city. Yeah, I like that idea. And you know what? I think I know what city becomes that. I didn't even real. I didn't put two and two together until I'm like playing, replaying this game again. And okay, I, I understand why that city is like that now. Okay. Well, either way. Oh man, it's just it's crazy how a lot of stuff is foreshadowed. We've got a lot of jobs as a guild ahead of us before we can be thinking about things like that. Yeah. Yeah, we got a lot of enemies to fight. We got a lot of items to collect still, dude. We still got work to put out. Now that you mention it, Nordopolica is Polistrali's city, isn't it? Pretty much. Yeah, if you think of it that way, Nordopolica is more of a guild city than Dongrist, even. Yeah, and Bellius rules the city, too. Nordopolica, hmm. Leader of a city, Duce of a guild. I wonder what sort of person Bellius is. Kill time, huh? I wish I could start one. Alright. Yeah. A lot of, like, Matoy Sakuraba's recent music for recent, you know, Tales games have kind of just, you know, it's kind of gotten monotonous. It's kind of the samey feeling for a lot of it, to be honest. And, you know, I, I like just listening to these tracks right here. They're pretty good. And I feel like he makes pretty good battle themes, too. It's just, lately, his environmental music is, has been trash. I thought the environmental music in Exilia was kind of generic, pretty forgetful. Hey, old man. You can feel free to go on ahead to Nordopolica. <clears throat> hey there, youngin. What? You want to get rid of me so soon? I feel like Exilia had like the weakest Tell soundtrack, personally. The Exilia series. Even though it may have some bangers for like battle themes, I think the music overall was just on the weaker side. Wrong. I just wouldn't want you to miss the new moon and your chance to deliver the letter all on our account. Honestly, I could do fine without your concern. Wrong again. If Brave Vesperia gets in the way of Altosk's work, we'll be apologizing to the Dawn for an eternity. <laughs> what? You're too young to bother yourself with such fluff. It's a matter of Brave Vesperia being trustworthy. You see what I mean? We've still got time left until the new moon. We'll be fine. You sure? Anyway, I ain't about to go back through the desert and that cave myself. <laughs> if I got killed by some monster on the way there, not only would the letter not get delivered, but Brave Vesperia certainly wouldn't look very trustworthy to potential clients then, would they? You right. In that case, we collect your bones and the letter and deliver them as promised. <laughs> oh, how kind of... Wait, hey! <laughs> Yo, Yuri's a troll, dude. Anyway, just as long as you won't go blaming me if you don't manage to deliver it on time. My dude, who cares if you die? As long as we make sure that, you know, the you know, letter's delivered. No one cares if you die, Raven, is what Yuri just said. No problem. I love it. He said it in such a, a trollish way. 
Don't be so cold. I may be old, but I'm a very sensitive guy. Have you ever been to the Coliseum? They say the atmosphere there is like a banquet of madness. Is it true? You actually fought in the Coliseum? I can't believe you stepped out in one piece. Yo, she she was just saying, oh, I can't wait to go to the Coliseum. Like, they they changed their lines depending on how, like, like the more you progress the story, the more these NPCs just change their lines. Dude. It's crazy. I didn't know. I was wondering what you had come to this, come to do in this very rural town. Yeah, uh-huh. Makes me wonder if we don't have a lot of money. So let's sell some stuff. I'm gonna sell, I'm gonna sell a whole bunch of those. I'm gonna sell like 11 of those. Let's look for the things that we can make a lot of money off of. All right, I'm gonna sell eight of these, four of these, 17 of these. All right. Sell two of those. Oh my God, look at how many cactus needles I have. I'm selling about 68, no, 70, I'm, I'm selling 66 of these. God damn. I'll sell 16 of these. So one of those, uh, three of these, three of these. The golden horn we want to keep is one of the ingredients that you need for the fairy ring. And we want to keep that. Definitely. Right now we have money. Greatly increases dark resistance. Amethyst. We can get that. There's nothing here. Man, we got to get that cockatrice claw. I guess I'll talk... Judas is probably outside the city, like always. She's always walking in. Every time. You're always out walking around, aren't you? <laughs> right. <laughs> yes, I guess I'm a pretty restless person. That's unexpected. You seem to have some problems staying put yourself. I'm pretty restless myself. That's not so unexpected, I think. <laughs> Maybe it's the wanderlust coming back to me from when I used to fly around with Baul all the time. <laughs> the wanderlust. Yeah, back when you were wearing that weird white armor. <laughs> yes. Are you going to look for Pharaoh by yourself? Nah. Oh, then where were you planning on going? Looking for you. Only a walk. Oh, I see. Doesn't it seem like we've been meeting this way a lot recently? No. Must be your imagination. <laughs> Did that white armor really look that strange on me? <clears throat> Just a tiny bit. Let's shake in with the dog. So you weren't able to meet Pharaoh after all. But I learned about some very important things. The child of the full moon and the Antilochia. But the only new thing we learned was what those words mean. As for the reason Pharaoh's trying to kill you, it seems we won't know unless we go and ask him directly. He had multiple opportunities to actually kill her, but he didn't. But you heard what he was saying. If I go to meet Pharaoh, he'll just wipe me out. It looks like we'll never know the truth then. Wipe you out like a skateboarder. After all this, it's like I'm being told that I should just give up. No, no way. Maybe... Huh? Maybe what I'm trying so hard to figure out isn't really that important to know at all. What do you mean? If I'd never met you, Yuri, and I just kept living my life in that castle, I would have lived without ever knowing about the Child of the Full Moon, or the Antilochia, or any of that. So maybe I could just go on living without knowing why Pharaoh wants me dead. So you're saying you should just go back to the capital? I think that's definitely an option. If that's what you want to do, I won't stop you. Yuri. Our contract with you is null and void at this point, after all. That's true. It's just, I don't really like hypothetical situations. They're not real life. I feel you. And I'm not too good at pretending to forget things that I already know. <sighs> if you can do that, then I don't have any problem with it. But can you really? 
Then I... I can't do that either. But I have no idea what I should do in this sort of situation. You want to know the truth, but you don't know what to do. That'd be a good summary of your situation, right? Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. Hey, Rapi, what's going on, boy? Rough. I th I'll think about it. All right. So we talked to. Well, we didn't talk to Patty. Where's the, where the hell is Patty? In the, in the inn. It's the only person we really didn't talk to. Would you like a skewer? Damn, you just pulled that. Where'd you pull that out from? Is it any good? Why don't you try it out? It's my grandfather's secret recipe. What? But didn't you say you had amnesia? I was just about to say that. Good question, Yuri. I know everything there is to know about Eifried. I traveled all over researching about him after all. That's how I figured out Eifried was the one who told me my name was Patty. What? Eifried told you your name? I. That's my oldest memory. Hmm. Just remembering that fond look makes me feel all warm inside. I don't know whether he's really my grandfather or not. But I feel that he was such an important person to me that I can't help but think that's who he is. I see. Still, it might have been smarter to keep that to yourself. Aye, but... You're used to it, huh? Aye. I don't let small stuff like that bother me. Aye. Aye. Mew, mew. Mew, mew. Crying gets you nowhere, <laughs> was it? Mew, mew, mew. But even if you understand that in your head, your emotions aren't necessarily going to listen. Every time I hear Patty says I, I'm, re I'm reminded of Mew. I'm more patient than a camouflaged stone flounder sitting still in a field of stones. Really? Oh, well, yeah. But your info broker turned his back on you, too. It's nothing. Things will work out. Tomorrow is another day. What will be, will be. In any case, you need to eat up if you want to cheer up. <laughs> I feel you, Patty. I like that attitude. Mm. Mm. This is good. Didn't I tell ya? Patty earned a dry eye dame title. So if I went to sleep, I would have missed that title. Alright, cool. We got the skewers. That's good. You're all wearing such unusual clothes. We don't really see anything like that around here. Did you come from far away? Is your very food different as well? I'd love to hear some recipes about you from your hometown. No, I think now that I talked to everybody, we could be on our way. Center of the town, right? No, I think I just go talk to Rita. I'll probably just rush at the end. I did talk to everybody in my crew. Talk to Judith, Carol, Raven, Rita, Rapide, Estelle. Did I talk to myself yet? I don't know. <coughs> do do do. And that dude looking thick. Big boy. Apparently, if we construct one of these barriers, the monsters will stop coming. But is it really safe? It must be if the sage uh, says so. If the sage says it's safe, it's definitely safe. It'd be outrageous to doubt the goddamn uh, guy. <laughs> Guess this will do. You got it. Alright, so I talked to everybody. At this point, it's time for us to go to bed. We talked to everybody. We got a title for Patty. And it's time to go to bed. What if you had no money to your name, no weapons, and how are you going to be able to progress the game at that point? Like, let's be real, man. Let's keep it real, man. <laughs> All right. Glad you could make it. Sorry to keep you waiting. You'll be heading back too, right? Yes. Thanks to your help, we've recovered our strength. 
We were thinking we'd cross the desert with you all. That is, if you don't mind. Yeah, no problem. Just make sure you don't go wandering off. How about us? What's our plan after this? I'm headed for the Air Crene and the Weasand of Kados. But I am curious about the Entelikea, too. I have the honored task of delivering this letter here to Bellius. I'd like to meet Bellius once myself! I mean, seriously, the Duce! I want to see just what kind of person the leader of the only guild to rival Altosk really is! Bellius? Yeah! Bellius is the Duce of Palastrale, which governs Nordopolica. She's the most important person there! You're friends with someone that amazing, Carol? Huh? Friends? Well, uh... It's Nordopolica for me, too. I'm gonna see what Flynn has to say about those knights in Mantek. That's assuming he's still in Nordopolica, of course. I... I want to know why the Antilochea hate the child of the full moon. Which means I have to meet Pharaoh. But there's got to be another way that doesn't involve Pharaoh. Right. Besides, walking around in the desert just looking for him wouldn't be easy. Why don't we all head for Nordopolica, then? You're only looking to find out the reason you were... attacked by the Antilochea, correct? E yes I imagine Bellius could tell you if you met with her. Why? Because of the connection between the Entelikea and the Colosseum? Mm-hmm. I do remember Jaeger mumbling something about the Entelikea of Nordopolica. If we can believe anything he told us. Well, we'll pass through the Weasand of Kados on the way to see Bellius. Good enough? True enough. All right then, Nordopolica it is. Let's get it! Right. First, let's get back to Mantek. Yeah, that's right. We gotta get those side quests. What about Patty? If I remember correctly, there were some people in Nordopolica who didn't think too highly of Patty. I'll be fine, as long as I don't run into any of them. As soon as I'm out in the open sea, everything will be okay. Then, will you come with us? Aye, that I will. Didn't Bellius only meet with people on the night of the new moon? Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to get a move on if we're going to see her. I'll kick myself if we miss the new moon and have to wait another month. <laughs> Reunited with everyone and it feels so good. Likes and dislikes. Yorm and Mantic are totally different. It's much cooler here. Maybe it's the ocean. The ocean is very nice, yeah? It's a beautiful place, too. But it seems boring. I wonder what the folks here do for fun. I kind of like it. This kind of calm, quiet village suits me. I can't stand loud people. Filming. Ooh, that's got to hurt, old man. <laughs> she was talking about the town, not about me. She would hate, uh... Hmm, maybe. She would hate going do, to do the Do you really hood. hate me that much? <laughs> man, due to this... I agree. I hate loud people, too, man. All people are like obnoxious. All right. Um, overcast. Sold X after casting to increase the effect of a novice spell while consuming TP. Um, we definitely want to get her on more magic. Rhythm. Tap circle repeatedly while casting spells to shorten casting time. Oh, oh, baby, I didn't know that was a thing with her. It says rhythm, by the way. So do I tap it in a rhythm or do I just mash it? Novice spells and base arts. Eh, you don't really need that because you can just spell cancel anyway. Like it doesn't. Like she's not gonna be doing too many combos at this point. She needs more skills. All right, double appeal. Overlimit boost. Increase the dur duration of overlimit. Now, this would be really good if I had that on Judith. <laughs> Alright. Alright, lady. Let's see what we can give you. Item pro. We don't really need. We can live with the amount of time it takes for that. Occasionally still galled when escaping from battle. Alright. Let's get back to man take. All right, there should be some new enemies on the field here. Perhaps. Ooh. Desert is that way. 
I got I should have some new holy bottles, right? Rebirth ring. Uh no, you should definitely get this strange mark. World charm. 50% chance of preventing status elements. An excellent accessory. She'll definitely want that over whatever she just had that on. I'll definitely take that. Holy symbol. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. I'm going to see if there's a possibility of any new enemies over here. You want to be... 100% careful so we don't miss any of these. Oh, look at dude, the hitbox. Dude, their hitbox is Here we huge. Coil B. Get your ass. Got him. Demon's land. Holy cow. She is going in. Rita is going in with these spells. Just kick him. Just kick him. Obsidian Flash. Be as a raging spear to run my enemies. The sign of victory. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the clear CL crystal. Can a clear CL crystal really <coughs> be used to make a barrier? If they could, and we had enough, we'd be able to make as many barriers as we wanted. Then even areas that suffer frequent monster attacks could be assured safety. Yeah, but if it were possible, wouldn't something like that have happened by now? Maybe it's best not to get her hopes up about it then. Ever the realist, I see. All I'm doing is speculating on the most probable outcome. Actually, I think that's what being a realist means. Hey man, I'm pretty real, dog. Y'all trying to be real out here? I'm gonna get real with you. All right, so this is a green area. I'm trying to look for any cockatrice type enemies. Doesn't look like they're gonna come out over here. Yo, look how far I... Dude, that's gotta be a bug. Ooh, they look scary. Or they just got lazy with the hitbox. Because that, that no, definitely shouldn't hit. God damn, you got ass. You got your ass. Yeah. You're pretty rough out there. It would be rude not to. For real, it would be rude not to, you know? Gotta kiss my ass. Kick some my ass. Moon, 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 moonlight. Dude, that move does so much damage. And now that we did it 5,000 times in a row, so it's gonna do more damage. So, I mean, <laughs> why not use it? <laughs> in, in Over Limit, like, Zagi got my ass with using the same two moves, so I'm gonna use the same one move and one up, you know? You feel me, player? All right, here we go. All right, looks like we can't come over here yet. So that's a very important spot later in the game. And I believe you actually have to do something there specifically for one of the secret um, dungeons in the game. There is a uh, post-game dungeon AKA secret, secret Dungeon or whatever. And it's actually missable. If you miss some of the steps in the Xbox version of the game, you could actually just never open up that damn dungeon. Duke certainly has an air of mystery about him. He's a real man. Patty prefers masculine fellas, I see. I thought he was pretty cold. Would it have killed him to listen to us a little? Maybe he was caught off guard. We did just kind of show up out of nowhere. Did one of us say anything rude to him? Probably you, Rita. Ha! Ow! Ow! <laughs> hey, no hitting! <laughs> he got I smacked. wonder if he's always lived here in Jormgen. Who knows? I didn't get the feeling he'd been here all that long, though. Duke is pretty weird, but this whole town is pretty weird, too. It is weird, but you could live a quiet, comfortable life here. That cutscene should have played 
uh, while we were there. Stay on the field. I like this. Because guess what? We don't have to go through that entirely. I wonder what this is. It looks uh, very particular, you know. You can get up there, but is there a reason to get up there? No, there's no chest or anything. There's literally no reason to go up top of there. Now, if there ever been chest, yeah, I'd be okay with it. All right. So we made it to Mantake. Oof, we're finally here. I've seen enough sand to last me a lifetime. <laughs> You're telling me. Look, there are people outside the town. Wonder if that means the curfew's been lifted. Uh-oh, look who it is. Kimor! Easy now. Haste makes waste. Indeed. We need to be cautious here and see what's going on. Oh, nice binoculars. Hurry, hurry, all aboard. Let's all enjoy a nice little tour of the desert, shall we? But while we're gone, the children. I promise riches to anyone who can bring me the remains of that giant winged monster. Then wow. your children will be able to live in the lap of luxury. Why? Please! Don't make us go! Stop your whining. I told you vermin to get <laughs> aboard. Now get moving this instant. That's just how we were sent into the desert. Why don't they get on board themselves? Because they must know just how dangerous this desert is. Just like what happened to us. The giant winged monster must be Pharaoh! Yeah, but what's he want to capture Pharaoh so bad for? Well, what are we gonna do? We can't just stand by and watch, can we? I'll... I don't think it's a good idea to go right now. I'm afraid that idiot isn't going to listen to anything a princess would say. Then what should we do? Carol, come here a sec. What? Yeah, I could do that. But I'd need tools. Yes, perhaps this will help. How convenient. Like, for real, she just pulled a wrench out of her ass. I mean, it is Cosmos, so, I mean, she probably has a complete repair kit on her. And yes, it is my birthday coming up soon, guys, so keep that in mind. On the 13th of February is my birthday. <laughs> you guys better Next bail week. me out if this goes bad. Uh, I'm, I'm expecting $9,000 in gifts. <laughs> there you go. You got it. So you did pick that up. I guess we're going to put a wrench in their plans. We're going to put a wrench in their plans. <laughs> we're going to put a wrench in their plans. Okay. Well, it was just lying there. I thought it might be useful. Whatever. What's he doing? Now about all we can do is leave it up to the kid. What is it with these commoners? They're slower than slugs. Get aboard, damn you! Sir Kimor, everyone is aboard! Everyone except yourself. Wow. What? Me? Those who do their job slowly will never learn without punishment. What a jerk off. Sir Kimor, please, I beg of you. I have a wife and daughter. If you'd like to stay here, I'm sure I could arrange for them to go in your place. Now be gone with you. Carol, don't worry. That young man is very capable. Hmm. Dude, the camera is still zooming in. I want to know how far it will actually zoom in. It's still slowly zooming in. How far will it go? I have to know how far it will go. It's slowly zooming in, guys. It's still zooming in. All right, it stopped. What's going on? Who was it that readied this coach? <sighs> Fix the blasted coach. 
I will find out who's responsible for this. I've got to hand it to the little runt. You did it. <sighs> My heart was pounding like a drum. This won't do anything more than buy us some time, though. I think it's about all we can do at the moment. We're still in the middle of our journey, after all. Yeah, Cat and Carol would start crying if we try to tackle the knights head on. How about we make ourselves scarce before people start getting too curious? You right. I suppose we'll be on our way then. Yeah, I'm sure your kids will be so happy to see you. But there won't always be someone around to save you. Thank you again for all your help. Guess we should lay low at the inn for a while. Good idea, man. The knights in this town. Using your power to terrorize people. There's not a soul in the lower quarter that evil. You've gone too far this time, Qmore. Whoa, what does that look for, Yuri? I don't know, I didn't like the look in that eye. I didn't like the look in his eye right there. I didn't like that. So I think what we're gonna do here, if there's not a cutscene here, save the game, take a break, and once we come back, we're gonna be back with more Tales of Vesperia. And I'll see you guys for the next episode on YouTube.